The five people you hang out with become the world you live in. Do you feel you should be further in your career or you should be doing more? It could be your circle of influence. How do you establish a strong circle of influence? And what is the point of even having a circle of influence? Let me tell you how in this video. Let's make a right left here. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and uh, welcome to my video. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well, then subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. There are three major groups to your circle of influence. Friends, family, and associates. Friends are people you have uh, relationships with and hang out with, uh, you know, outside of working and or family. Family is, uh, if you don't know what family is, uh, biologically, maybe you should go back to school and maybe listen to our biology. And associates are people you work with, uh, either within your field of interest or your survival job, but you don't technically hang out with them or have an intimate relationship with them, knowing who, what, where, and why they exist as a person. They're like a thing. Jake, hey, how's it going? So the boss talked to you about that thing? <laughs> No, no. What was he supposed to talk to me about? I didn't even see him. Oh, I would start packing. I like to break down my circle of influence into two parts. The first part is my personal life, and the second part is my career life. Though it is very common that these two worlds will eventually become one. Because it's not uncommon for the people you work with to become such good friends, they eventually are considered family. Therefore, without even realizing it, they eventually assimilate into your personal life. And that's a good thing, trust me. And of course, once you break it down, your personal life and your career life, this is basically what it would look like. As you can see, this is an example chart. Obviously, these are all fake arbitrary names. That's why the first name is called arbitrary. The first row in each section start with your top five. Their order doesn't matter, but you can make it so if you choose. I personally don't have an order for my top five. I just have names in it. It's usually alphabetical. Secondly, now figure out five people they know personally that you don't know. Thirdly, figure out the five people these people know. This is how to create and work out your circle of influence. Now, what is a person of influence? Well, your circle of influence is filled with people. So these people are influential. But you've heard me speak about people of influence, and I have said often that these aren't technically people that could influence your life and get you things or give you things or even help you. When I say a person of influence or your circle of influence, these are people that are influencing their own lives, they're developing opportunities and succeeding on their own merit. They make things happen by making things happen. Ultimately, if you want to be a successful musician, hang out with successful musicians. So if you're hanging out with a successful musician, they technically are a person of influence. Not that they're going to be helping you become a successful musician, but you'll be around that world and you'll learn, develop and establish certain skills and habit behavior that will help you. You also listen and educate yourself on terminology and you might meet people just through third-party introductions naturally because the beauty of being around influential people is that it will elevate you and it will help you but more importantly your circle of influence is only matched by your own influence work on making yourself influential in your life find solutions think outside the box create a budget organize your money develop wealth Learn how to network, market, and practice. Learn how to give, help, be selfless, and introduce people, and volunteer your time. Make yourself valuable. Because if you're valuable, others will see your value and want you in their circle of influence. Find solutions, think outside the box, and, you know, uh, be fun to be around. And most importantly, be nice. Be nice to everybody. Because you never know who someone is, and you never know who someone knows. Though again, you're not making friendships to get something out of them because that can be read off of your intentions and who you are as a person, therefore devaluing you. Make friends sincerely, but always be nice. Helpful tip. Go through your address book. 
Um, <clears throat> for you younger people, go through your phone. Start at the top and scroll down till you find your list. Picking out the people you know personally and not kind of. Remember, your list is based on the people you know well and you have established relationships with. That's your least, your first five. And of course, I always do say start with five, but you're welcome to go to 10. That's right. You can go to 10 people, 12 people, 15 people, 30. Your circle of influence should be growing over the course of your career, time, and any way you start developing relations. Believe it or not, you might make friends with, say, I don't know, me. And then I go from wherever I am on that list to your top five. However, if I know somebody that you want to get to know, they will be on my five. Now, if you meet that person through a third party interaction and you guys develop a relationship and a friendship, they would move to your circle. Your circle of influence should always be evolving and moving around and as need be, it's allowed to be adjusted, which you should kind of do every, I don't know, month, every three months, every four months, every six months, maybe once a year. It's up to you, whatever makes you feel comfortable and depending on how much you are moving around, within your networking capabilities. The reason I'm very passionate about your top five, even though you can make 10, 15, 20, 1,000, infinite amount of people, is because those five people you hang out with become the world you live in. That's right. You're going to be giving them the most time of your life. You'll be hanging out with them the most. They will be the people you call, get lunch with, and on the reg, uh, that's regular. I'm trying to be hip. I don't, did it work? Did it work? Do we get, do we get a hip? No? All right. Ultimately, those five people become the world you live in. Now, I'm not saying you should just only hang out with these five people. I'm not saying you should only talk to these five people. You should look at your list because you're supposed to be networking, building, and cultivating relationships. So do your follow-ups, do your calls, do your happy texts, do whatever you got, emails, whatever you have to do. Set up lunches, even if it's once every two months. Establish and build those relationships throughout your entire circle of influence beyond your five most influential people because you want to know people because remember you gotta be nice to everyone because you never know who someone knows so you can one day be that person who knows that person beyond all things the reason i tell you you should interact with everybody including your top five and the people beyond your top five is because people are people they are valued they are worth your time they are important they are existing and therefore they deserve to be seen, and you deserve to be present. And uh, to end the helpful tip, uh, you know, if it turns out your best friend who you place on the top of your five most influential people in your life happens to play video games all day and you're more interested in winning an Oscar, I'm just saying, I might just, <sighs> just, just, I would just move them, I would just, I just, uh, just move them down. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of resilient entertainer. <laughs> Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes? To make a right left. Yeah. Oh dear.